today at a sky art company in Istanbul in my city. I'm going to show you some special products. Let's take a look. I came front of showroom. Yashar waiting us. Hello. Hi, welcome to Sky art World. Thank you very much for your invite. It's invitation. pleasure for us. Welcome. And in seconds, I saw something and it was looking amazing with LED yes. lights. What's that? I just want us. This is, this is a very prestigious device for the Sky art. As a safety compass for the airline and for aviation business. This kind of devices like, you know, mock-up, door trainers or the cabin emergency evacuation trainers are allowed to cabin crew and the pilots to get ready for all type of scenarios. Let's experience this together if you wish. Can we use it? Of course. First of all, I can show you how does it operate, then let you give this experience to try it. Okay, I had an experience in real life one time. Maybe you know, I don't know, uh, but I'm so excited. It's, it's so simple to use. It works with the pneumatic system, actually, same as in real aircraft. Mm -hmm. And this device is manufactured based on the aircraft Airbus data package, so definitely 100% comply with uh, standard regulations and also Airbus data pack. Let's check it out. We should take it out this protective cover. So in this case, we're gonna hurt this sign uh, that it means this door trainer is equipped with, or this slide, uh, this oven exit is equipped with a slide. Let's just pull the handle down and leave it. It is looking like really professional, but I want to ask other staffs in showroom. Before that, you can explain this, uh, the door train, how does it open if you wish. So yeah. in this case, we need to close the door by using the button on the iOS. It's looking like fanfare, a little form. Please push the handle up. That's all. Cover, please. That's all. Now I'm responsible for that door. First of all, pull the handle cover. All right. I two. And then pull the handle down. And I'm opening. Be ready. Pull the handle down. You cannot. Yeah. Why? Why? Because small function here. <laughs> you are so tricky. And thank you very much for your introduce. Can you can you fix this malfunction? Because I want I want to, open. I'm going to do that. But before that, I'm going to forward you to my colleague, Mr. Urmak. Here. Hello. He's in charge of the all. Uh, the aviation furniture in the Sky Arts. Mr. Irmak, yes. there's a lot of stuff. I want to start from begin. Can you explain what are you doing here what and are what are they? Yeah, we are Sky Art. Uh, we are uh, strong promoters of upcycling, converting the uh, raw material into uh, its original state. Uh, we are using the same material for different purposes. So our aim is upcycle uh, the aircraft into decorative home and office furniture, also art objects. This is where our brand comes from. Sky art. Uh, so this is where the old aircraft come uh, for their last stages of their lives. So we make beautiful art uh, using old aircraft parts. I can see your beautiful art and people are so creative here. Where did you get all of these parts from real planes? Uh, yeah, those are real planes. Obviously, we have suppliers and we are in good contact with the airlines and stuff. Obviously, we get the uh, old aircraft uh, and turn them into, uh, into these, uh, furniture and art. For example, What's that? This is the uh, VHF antenna of an Airbus 300. So this is like the antenna you see on top of the uh, airframe. So we converted this into a decorative desktop item uh, using airbrush. In fact, this is no longer an antenna, it's a piece of aviation history. And what's that? This is a uh, designer item. This is actually made of uh, two aircraft galley trolleys. So you can uh, store your drinks uh, and uh, whatever for catering. Can, can we open? Of course. It is real trolley. Yeah, this has been uh, used uh, in airlines for many years. And as the people would expect, they would go to scrap unless we stepped in and made these. If you want, ask your uh, guests in home, chicken or pasta, maybe you can take something. <laughs> Isn't that? <laughs> yeah, definitely. Chicken or pasta. And what's that? Well, uh, this is our uh, new brand. Plain Skins. Plain Skins is a sub-brand of uh, Skyart. Obviously, uh, uh, we were looking for ways to uh, upcycle the aircraft to a maximum degree. Obviously, we have lots of leftovers of the aircraft skin and all these um, seat belt buckles. Actually, this is a key hanger and your key uh, tag comes here. And when okay. you want to leave home, you just take this. I want to try also. You go, yeah, you go out with this. There you go. Honey, I am going. I, I gone and I came. And you come on. And, and I'm using here. Honey, I am at home. I forgot your list. This is a key tag. This comes with it. Mm -hmm. So you just hang uh, your keys and your key tag. Mm -hmm. This is also a piece of aviation history. We make these in limited numbers. And Look we at also that. I was a plane. Yes, I'm sorry. This was a plane. And this is the 316th 
Airbus 320 that Airbus ever made. So we have the history of this. So by getting a, a Planeskin's key tag, you get to own a piece of aviation history in your pocket. And each one are individually numbered. I don't know if the camera sees it. This is the number 64 of 1000 units. So it is unique, very unique. Yeah, something. this makes it unique. Thank you very much. But I am searching big fishes. And they are they are so cute and so pro nice products. I saw business seat and plain engine it's covers. An engine uh, cow cowling, uh, it's an engine cover. We upcycle this as an office desk uh, at this occasion. Office desk. But, uh, yeah. If my secretary will use something like that, I will be so jealous for. <laughs> wh what was that? Airbus 300 engine. This is a General Electric's uh, CF6 engine mm -hmm. cowling. Uh, we have a few of these and. Um, in the past, we converted this into a bed, and now this is an office desk. So the ideas are limitless. It also gone everywhere, and now it is office desk. Let's take a look at that business seat. This seat comes from the Boeing 777. It's a, it's a life flat seat from a business class cabin. Is, it is working? Yeah, it is working, as you can see. It's all um, automatic controls. Um, obviously, we convert this to work with domestic power. So you can uh, use the uh, recline function. As you see, it's a bit slow. It also has, meanwhile, I can show you the... Um... You made so nice TV seat from business class. Look at that, my seat, please. It is also from economy, but... This is the most comfortable economy seat uh, ever. The seat has a uh, 360 degrees uh, swivel uh, function. And other than that, the height is adjustable, mm -hmm. uh, higher or lower. But in addition, we have the tilt function which works um, with five uh, lockable positions, plus the normal recline of the seat as well, which makes it really, really comfortable. I wish all the airlines uh, had these seats or this tip function on their seats. Yeah. I'm feeling like really in business. Okay, you are making in Istanbul and trolley came. You know, what would you like to drink? Please one, zero. <laughs> we don't have any more left zero at the moment. But I am business, please find zero for me. Okay, let me check from the another girl then. And it's so nice, you are making in Istanbul all of them. It's Istanbul, it's a 10 year old company since 2010. Mm -hmm. And you uh, are sending past, uh, almost to all world from here. Except North Korea. North Korea, uh, we are saying hi to North Korea. Uh, and don't forget about uh, subscribe. Guys, I'm proud of you really and Skyart really. It's so exciting, they're making so nice product. And But I understand you are not making for just for collectors and you are making for uh, airlines yes. also big products yes. and i wish you good luck in your works and i will come again with money thank you very much thank you very much thanks for your visit now i'm gonna take you to again to the door trainer to practice on it yeah i forget i forget thank you very much i want but open now all, please have a seat on the seat uh, put the power down put our play that's fine and pull the handle down and leave the exit. Pull the handle down. Be ready. And leave the exit. Yeah. Okay, what you should do is, in this case, as a passenger, you need to get out the aircraft. I'm going. Get out the aircraft, Johan. Please follow me from outside. I ask you. You've been, yeah, you've been evacuated from there. <laughs> I know you have got big one. Yeah, we have the bigger one now in the factory side, on side area. So we're going to take you to downstairs. It will be delivered the ship to its customer to Viva Aerobus to Mexico uh, the next week. So we're going to show you that one. Okay, we are going. Jihan, let us have a look to another door trainer that yeah. we have currently manufactured in our factory. This is the Airbus 320 and 321 door trainer combined of three different exits inside this training device. Can okay, we try? Uh, of course, can. you can try if you wish. And meanwhile, this door trainer is equipped with the various scenarios to create a realistic environment on the training device, such as you see the visuals on the door Come window on. here. This allows the cabin crew to make a evaluation of the realistic environment of the outside conditions such as fire if there's any fire if there's any water if there's an obstacle in outside then they need to block this exit and they need to the cabin crew need to direct the passengers to another usable exit this one more close to real life and yes more, definitely more realistic. definitely we try we aim to create a realistic environment here mm -hmm. on this door trainer for the cabin crew training this is the normal uh, the operation of the 1L door slide is in disarm mode. 
So in this case, pull the handle up and push the door manually to outside. It is normal lock by using the gas lock. You see, you hear this one. So yeah. the lock uh, mechanism is initiated and the door is locked on the fuselage. So to disengage, to close the door, release the gas lock, pull like real. Yes. Pull the door inward by using the assist handle, then pull down the door handle. So the door is locked. So there are several indicators here you can see. It means that the door is locked. Okay. Let us simulate another function for the door here, one elf. You see the obstacle visual on the screens. We are in some... Yes. Or what will we do now? In that case, this door will be the block because there are the trays, yeah. trees as an obstacle material. So in this case, uh, mm -hmm. the cabin crew should not open this. We door. have to try other ones. Yes, they have to try another one. So this is the apron. This is the airport visual. So apron we can came. operate the door. <laughs> OK, <laughs> let us try in emergency mode if you wish. Uh, first of all, we need to take out this safety pin, then bring this light to our mode. And then just pull the door out door opens itself automatically and you hear the inflation of the sound effects yeah now now opens. we can yes slide is inflated and we can evacuate the passengers you can have a look to cabin if you wish yeah turn the camera to the cabin please so Attention. did you see the rapid decompression scenario same as real in aircraft in case of any uh, there's a loss of pressure in the cabin so uh, the mask will be deployed then in this case, as a passenger, you need to pull this door, this mask, yeah. and put on your mask. Can I try? Of course, you can try. But no, there is no oxygen. <laughs> <laughs> now, <laughs> would you like to try how to open this door your own? Yeah, of course. Yeah, this is the 3L Airbus 321 mid exit mm -hmm. door. Yeah. So, uh, first of all, you need to pull this protective cover, yeah. and then pull the handle up, and push the door upward. And, and yes, I lock open. on the fuselage. Yeah, this is open. Yeah. To close it, use the assist handle so like this, mm -hmm. and then pull the door your inward, and pull the handle down. Let's try to use this door in an emergency scenario. We brought the slight lever to arm position. Then just pull the door handle up and force light. Just yes, inflation. You're gonna hear now the slight inflation simulation. Just pull the door handle up and leave the door itself. It is going from itself. Yes. Now jump. <laughs> <laughs> jump and slide. You jump and slide. Jump and slide. Like we have got 90 seconds. We have also the forward attendant panel here, uh, equipped with the various features like audio. Mm -hmm. uh, so we can simulate all type of uh, the boarding announcements or the safety announcements or the boarding music like this. Let's try like welcome announcements. So we can adjust the volume as well yeah. by using this button. Or, it's important, it's, it's so important. Any kind of boarding music, all the light in the cabin, lighting system in the cabin, separately for the forward entry I just and separately for the aisle and the window side as well in the cabin. And you can see the temperature inside. Of course, this is the static and water and vest in case of any smoke inside. So the detection page you can see here and the seat seating, FOP setup and the system info. Of it is, uh, and this is also equipped with the evacuation command, uh, the system in case of any needed or, or any emergency you would like to uh, simulate on the device, then you need to press evacuation command and you will hear this comment. And there are some alerts, indications in the real aircraft, same as real aircraft you see on the AIPs, evacuation alert and the sign is flashing and another sign here, ACP, area call yeah. panel, we call it in a real aircraft, it's flashing itself. So this system uh, warns the cabin crew that there is an emergency situation. It is a real simulator, yes. simulator for cabin crew. I tried a lot of uh, cockpit simulator, but I have never uh, seen something like that actually and I'm so excited. Thank you very much for Welcome. your interview. Welcome to Sky again and we would like to see you soon again. Because you can is, be sure I will come again. Another project is very coming soon uh, within a month, so we would like to host you again here mm -hmm. to show that device because that device will be the combination of the device with the virtual system. Thank you very much, Welcome. Yasha. And uh, dear followers, thanks for watching and see
see you next videos. Don't forget about likes and comments, please. See you later.